Shalom and welcome to Two Minutes of Torah. This year is entitled Parashat Vayera, Mean People. There's a fascinating article in the Science Times uh, a few years back entitled About That Mean Streak of Yours, Psychiatry Can Only Do So Much. It's written by Dr. Richard Friedman. He has a simple question. Psychiatry, he deals, of course, with a lot of different cases, people with neurosis, psychosis, treating a patient in the clinic uh, with psychosis and uh, clearly unstable. But after a while, they had him stable and he was ready for the discharge. And he was still doing some very mean things. He'd call up uh, the residents, the nurses there, and speak in a disgusting manner, an appropriate manner. And Dr. Freeman confronted him. And Dr. Freeman realized that he has no psychiatric issues anymore. He's simply a mean person. And he writes very, very interestingly, and I think uh, sheds some light on our approach, the Torah approach, to meanness. So he writes, Dr. Freeman writes, it's not fashionable in our therapy-friendly nation where people who behave obnoxiously are assumed to have a treatable psychiatric problem until proven otherwise. Meaning we just assume he must have some psychiatric issue. And he writes, many of my colleagues would argue that a person who is mean, he must have a personality disorder, a category that is broad enough to encompass nearly every variety of human misbehavior. Of course, everyone has personality traits, but when they cause major problems in relationships and work, they cross the fine line into disorder. On the other hand, maybe the person is simply mean by nature, a concept that may sound heretical coming from a psychiatrist because it seems dangerously close to rendering a moral judgment on a patient's soul. What Dr. Friedman is saying is that he thinks in the world of psychiatry, a person who's acting mean, inappropriate, nasty, well, maybe uh, there must be some psychiatric issue over here. The fact is, he says it's not true. He was born mean, and that's where he is, and it's not for a psychiatrist to fix it. What does the Ju Torah, Judaism, Yadud, say about such a question? So the Rambam, in the very beginning of Hilchot Dei, writes, people are born with different traits. Some people are born with so generous and kind, and others are born mean-hearted, and they won't give away a penny. Some are just arrogant, and some are more humble. And he goes on and on in the first parak of Dei. And it's clear. In Yadr, each person is given, is dealt his own uh, deck of cards, his own hand, and uh, it could be born with a very mean, aggressive nature. And as the Gemara in Shabbat says, he has to learn how to deal with it, how to channel the nature, how to control that nature. And therefore, as we see, Saddam, a town so vicious, so malicious, is not a psychiatric issue. Is people born in a certain way, and one influence we are the one, and till the point where it's just a horrible, horrible, decrepit place. And that's it. So, Mitzvah Hashem, we'll see in part two, there are some sheetas that try to give a rationale. What were they thinking? Did they have a philosophy behind them? And so we'll see some interesting approaches. But the idea that you can have a town that's vicious, malicious, and aggressive, I mean, Yes, Yadus has such a thing. People that don't work on themselves, they don't try to grow, and they just lead themselves up to their base desires and instincts, they could simply end up rotten people. And that's something that has to be addressed and worked on. We'll continue this in part two. Shalom.